I guess we're ready. Let's get it. All right. That's great. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. Don reached out to me all the way from Los Angeles, California inquiring about his girlfriend because he thinks she's okay. an opportunist. He explained to me that he'd been in a relationship prior to where his ex left him for a guy with more money and clout and hopes his current girlfriend doesn't oh, do the really? same being that they live in LA. Why you want to put your girlfriend to loyalty test? She, she been showing like, like signs that like she can't be trusted, you know? Like, I kind of went through this before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With like, dating an artist and shit like that, so. Dang, really? I personally collaborated with Uplevel to help put a guaranteed $250 in your pocket. By simply completing 10 deals and following these quick steps, you can do just that. First, click the link in my description or scan the QR code above. Not only will these deals get you $250, but these deals include various free trials like Hulu, Disney, Cyrus, as well as downloading gaming apps. Anyone can get the $250, but I am personally giving away $1,000 split between four people who DM me showing proof of completing 10 deals. It's literally free money. All you got to do is scan the QR code above or click the link in my description. Right, make sure right y'all do it. Or actually put your email in. Go ahead and drop your email in there. Oh, shit. That shit came through for real. I told you. Let me see. I swear to God. I only, had, I only, only did a couple games, though. Yeah, that's how it worked, bro. LA All is right. a fast city, so setting this test up will be very easy and interesting. So you guys, we're currently in the airport right now at 6.13. The flight take off at 6.30 on the way to LA. Once we land, we will have a bit of a downtime. So that gives us enough time to, you know, rest up and stuff like that. I haven't talked okay, to Dom because cool, cool, a little cool. bit early and, you know, the times are a little bit different, but we're going to tap back in with y'all when we actually get on the flight or when we land in LA. Problem is, I don't know too many people in LA to be their decoy, but I definitely have someone in mind. What's good, bro? What up, buddy? Oh, really? Yes, sir. All right, so look, bro, we got this guy named Dom. He basically reached out to me and wanted to put his shorty to the test because okay. she been coming to him showing them shit on Instagram basically trying to live a lifestyle that they can't afford. Yeah. So he want to see if opportunity presented itself, would she like indulge right. type shit or whatever. So we rented out this, this Airbnb, but we're going to act like you the host of it okay. and, it's, and it's your property or whatever. So okay, when she comes in there or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're going to basically like show her around, basically what a host would do mat. when you run out of Airbnb okay. and then essentially like shoot your shot at her and see if she's right. willing to go on a date with you. Okay. So I'm not, so I'm the Airbnb host. Yeah. You're the okay, Airbnb bet, host bet, or whatever. Bet, bet. So, but she think Dom rented out for her because she's trying to build a portfolio because she acts. Okay. Okay. So she's using the aesthetic of the house. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. However you want to do it, be yourself, you know what okay. I'm saying, and slide your shit in there, however you okay. do it. Is there anything we know ask the question now? <laughs> Is there anything <laughs> I can ask Well, we're going to ask Don when we get No, really right. Care. Okay, okay. Or whatever. Okay, uh, what, what, what do you want to do? But I feel... Always you. got to ask that question, yo, always. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight over nobody. Especially in the last couple so of times. the house is literally like right there in the hills. Okay, bet. Or whatever. Oh, and, uh, shoot. We're going to go ahead and uh, go that way once Don give me the call. Okay, tell us. Uh, what's up, bro? How's it going? Good, how are you? All right. So what exactly happened if you don't mind explaining? Uh, man, um, I mean, dating an artist, man, it's just, <laughs> that's hard. I mean, I don't know. It's just like, I asked Dom a few questions. He got stuck. You can obviously tell that he's been struggling yeah. with things in his past relationships to where he didn't really want to open up and talk about what was going on. I don't know. Like when you're working as an artist coming up and like he was somebody, that person, an artist as well. And then they get around other artists, other people. And then they see like clout or they see like money or whatever. They kind of choose that and leave you in the, in the dark and shit when you feel like Y'all locked in. Damn, that is so that is tough, same, man. That's tough. Same, same thing going on right now. I ain't got no proof though. Yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, you explained to me uh, through the emails to me that uh, she basically was like trying to live through other people's lifestyles and, and like projecting it on you because you couldn't give her a certain shit. So you yeah. felt like she was in an opportunity to where he's showing at his house and a certain lifestyle that she was going for. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't do that, is, bro. Like, like, that's, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I can't, I can't go through that again. You know what I mean? So, I understand I that, bro. To, to the test, I respect, bro, for even 
doing it, you know? Sure. So, bro. Mac, uh, man. Peace, peace. Yes, sir. Be playing the decoy for today's multi test. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want? You want to explain to him that he that you don't want him to do to your girl? Yeah, like if you don't want me to kiss her, touch her somewhere, the special spot, goddamn, say something. Nah, I mean. Yeah, and you say say, say I something. I mean, if you if you put the actions towards it and she fall for it, that give you my answer right yeah. there. You know what I mean? Type so shit. that's really what it is right there. I'm gonna try. Hey, try, man, because All right. I need to know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to go through that again. So yeah. if you kiss her, that's cool. <laughs> it ain't, it's not cool, but it's like if she she go for it, she falls. You ain't mad at me. I ain't mad at you. We trying to get that understanding right now because you know past past. Text. In the past, yeah. yo, oh, that, that past yeah. stuff be Overstay happening, man. Too, that mess so. be crazy. Nah. So he's gonna be a decoy for today's loyalty test, mm -hmm. and Ricardo don't know it, but he's gonna be the photographer for today's loyalty test. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet, bet, bet. So yeah, uh, we are gonna watch everything from the bedroom upstairs. Mm -hmm. it, got, it got a it got a padlock on the door, so she's not gonna be able to come inside. And right. we gonna watch everything from the camera up there in the live feed. All right, cool. That's cool. All right, hopefully get your answers today, and everything goes plan. Right on, man. Right on, right on, right on, right on. Get to it. Yeah. All right. Now that Let's Dom get was it. up to speed, it was time to execute, and the plan was already in play. Dom's girlfriend thinks she's arriving to this Airbnb that he supposedly booked for her to shoot photos for her acting portfolio, when the whole entire time we'll be ducked off upstairs watching her walk into her very own loyalty test. Ricardo will be playing the photographer Dom hired, while Mag will be playing our decoy in pursuit to figure out whether she's loyal or not. Cameras were set up and everything was ready. All left to do was wait for her to arrive. I see she's pulling up right now. She's pulling up right now. Oh, here we go. Alright, here we go. Hi. Hello, I'm Ava. Um, my boyfriend actually booked me for a photo shoot. Okay, yeah, come on in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so my name is Matt. I, people call me Macro. Um, this is the spot. Um, what's your name again? Ricardo. Ricardo. Ricardo is going to be your photographer. He's been here for just a little while. Um, so yeah, this is the Airbnb. Um, Pretty much have free range to just use whatever space uh, you need. Um, she loves it on the thick side too. It's better if you take pictures. I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying. Comes in kind of strong. Um, it's at least until the um, the sun comes down. But um, yeah, I'm just upstairs. Um, what did you say your name was again? Ava. Ava. Nice, nice to, nice to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, I'm upstairs. If you need me, well, actually, I'll be back. Um, I'll probably just head out uh, for a while. So if you need me, I think you have my number, right? I do. Okay, so yeah, if you need me, just call me, um, and um, I'll be back pretty soon. Perfect. Thank okay. You. Mm -hmm. No problem. Hello. How are you? What's up, brother? Does she get, like, a lot of gigs? You said what? Does she get a lot of gigs? She, she's just working right now. She, I mean, she on the up and coming. A lot of people like her, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, she's very uh, passionate in her career. For sure. So, like, ain't super active right now, but she's getting there. For sure. She's getting there. That's good. Okay. Maybe sit, sit in the corner somewhere. Gotcha. Uh, you can just do whatever pose you're comfortable doing. <laughs> Before we send Mac back in to make his move, we had to make sure that Ava felt like this was a real photo shoot. So Ricardo actually took a bunch of pictures, and when he was done or felt like he took enough, we sent Mac back in. Oh, I like these side views. That's crazy. I, you know what? I actually hate side view profile pictures. That's really? You're, yeah, you're like an awesome photographer. <laughs> Appreciate it. What's up, y'all? What's up, bro? Going? Good. Uh -uh. Yeah. He's back. Anybody check on that? How long you been modeling for? Modeling? Yeah. Um. I don't really want to say model in okay. particular, but um, I do have like opportunities for that, so it's kind of good that I am mm -hmm. doing this photo shoot. Yeah. I've been trying to do um, more improv. Okay. But, um, see if we can I get can. more volume. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you look like natural in modeling, so. Yeah, look great. I just, I also got me yeah, he's setting, he's setting it up. Okay. Boy. He's setting it okay. up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you look great. Though. Hey, Ricardo. What's up? Um, can you give us a second? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. No. Excuse me, Carlos. So, acting. Um, how long have you been acting? Um, I started out as a child entertainer. Okay. And then I actually ran away from improv when I was 12 because I was like a teenager. Okay. And then, Good now that I moved here, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Damn, nigga. Yeah. 
Yeah, she was loud. Um, so where are you from? Um, originally from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yes. Yeah, Las I've been Vegas. For three years. What brings you to LA? Opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah, it speaks. Yeah. Opportunity. It makes sense. I've been in LA for about a year. Um, how you liking it so far? Let me ask you before I put my opinion in there. It's different. Different. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of things going on here every day. Is it better? Worse? I feel like I'm on the median of in between. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, I like LA, but uh, at the same time, it's kind of like a little weird. I don't know. I think people are weird. Do you think? Yeah, I, I think I, the, feel you. I think the people are a little weird. Um, compared, to, I'm from Chicago originally, oh, okay. so like the way we act and like the way we do shit is a lot different than like what be going on. Then out there in LA, it's cool though. Other than, I mean, I think the best part is probably how how it looks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, houses like this. Um, you know, I've been doing Airbnb for a while, so. Um, just see houses like this is cool. Something you don't see in Chicago, but I think I'm ready to leave. Yeah, and go if back I to your original. So. No, no, <laughs> I, I don't want to go back to Chicago. It's a little crazy. I, I might go. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to move to Miami, maybe, or maybe like the outskirts. Cool. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. How's, the, how's the dating scene out here for you? The dating scene, that's very um, tough uh -oh. out here <laughs> for me, but not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Not that bad. Why, why not that bad? Why not good? Um, because I don't really, I don't really get around much. You don't get around? Do you have a boyfriend? Um, I do. You do? Yeah, he sent me here. Oh, <laughs> interesting. That's your boyfriend that sent you here. Yeah. Okay, how long have you guys been dating? We want to say like a year. A Things year? are pretty good. Like, Bro, you got to go grab that fucking camera. Okay, how long have you guys been dating? Like, yeah, I know, right? Was going through a bunch of Cause she holding on. Okay. <laughs> Cause she holding on to that camera. Basically. Might say something that she don't like. Right. She tossed that mug. I know that's an expensive camera too, with the whole lens. Um, but yeah, I feel like we make a good. There we go. Now the camera say, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about that camera too. Yeah. And then also in support of his goals. Yeah. What do, what does he do if you don't mind me asking? Um, he's also a filmmaker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hate to ask. I hate to be so. I don't want you to think I'm just being forward. But yo, you caught my eye as soon as you uh, walked through the door. Um, yeah, you look like a natural model, and I think you're. I think you look. You definitely look good. Um, and um, yeah, I just want to tell you that for. Him. I know you got a boyfriend. I don't want to be too pushy. Uh, I don't. It's not really pushy because like we're. I don't want to say an open relationship, but mm. I don't think he really minds. Mind? No. Why wouldn't he mind? You don't think so? Nah. Really? What well, what would my boyfriend who likes his or are y'all in love? Let me ask you. I wanna say so. After what, a year, two years? You gotta year. be in love, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So why why would somebody who's in love they don't really sound natural to me? Or that's well, not natural, let's just say it don't sound like something everybody says. I don't hear that a lot. Okay, so in an open relationship, I didn't say we consented to that, but mm -hmm. um, other women talk to him because I feel like we're both flirtatious. Flirtatious? Yes, and like before... You said both are oh, flirtatious? You flirting know, with me? I am flirting with you. I was okay. going to tell you, you look like you're out of Max and Max. Okay. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. shit. Here, Here we, we go. Like yeah, Here this we just go. a little song. It's nothing too crazy. It's just no, a little song. It looks fire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let, let's, uh, let's go back and chat. Yeah. Okay. So what you were saying? So I was saying like he actually had, we actually split up for two weeks mm -hmm. and he decided that he wanted to go visit one of his girls. His like, exes. Oh, yeah. Exes? And not necessarily an ex, they were kind of friends, but he told me that uh -huh. at dinner, you know, um, he actually caught feelings for her. His ex? But not an ex. Let's sit down, let's sit down, let's sit down. Yeah. Let's sit down. So. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. Your browser is terrifying. Yeah. And I didn't take, like, at heart because mm -hmm. he told me that he didn't want to, like, pursue a relationship mm -hmm. with her, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I need an invitation. What? Oh, no, I need an I invitation. Told you. I okay. Know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, so that's kind of how we are. Thank you for mm -hmm. fixing my hair. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to fix your hair? No. Are you do sure? I need to get fixed? Yeah, you do. Okay. Look at that. Is something in my hair? No, just a little curly. Okay. I just okay. wanted to feel it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so oh, he said really he, caught, he told too. you he caught feelings for his ex again? Not an ex. So it was more of like when you kind of split up, you kind of, you know, how mm -hmm. guys are. Yeah. Or however it goes, same thing for me. Some guys. Yeah, you kind of go not on a spree, but you just kind of break free for a second mm -hmm. to kind of catch yourself. Yeah. So I'm saying like he went on that date and he basically told me that he feels something for her, which okay. kind of drew like insecurity okay, a little bit into me. Right. Insecurity. But I completely trust him and I feel like he should trust me too. Okay. I mean, he hasn't fully said this is a open, open relationship. relationship. So. Have you talked about it? Um, we have. I'm pretty I mean, sure. I'm pretty knows, sure he like, has. We even decided that his friend Jace, like, for us to like hook up in the bathroom at a New Year's Eve party. Really? Mm hmm. Also, he into some freak shit. Hold up. She don't even know this dude and she just talking like that, bro. What is she talking about? I have no fucking clue what this girl talking about. Do I about to say, that's, that's is that something right you there. into? That's that LA shit right there. Did she say you allow somebody else to hook up with her? Come on, man. Is that what she said? Yes, that's what she said. Yes, yeah, she just said that. She and just what said was your that. To that. Um. Actually, like we kind of did because everybody was like at a party. And she, she really it. sat up there and confessed wow. and told everybody without her knowing that she had sex with her boyfriend, best friend. Right now. Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, what gets me is that she said that he consented to it, which is crazy. I don't know if she's just making that up, but hopefully she is. He knew. Okay. And so I don't see like even if I uh, was obviously she's like, making it up, right he. Mm -hmm. Why would it matter? You're touching me. I am touching you. I like that. I like that. Scandalous, bro. Maybe something extravagant, you know? Yeah. A helicopter to Malibu or something like that. That is way extravagant. A weekend yeah. getaway? Yeah. So me and you? Completely. I'm, I'm down. Me and you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, bro, we sitting up there and watching everything unfold, and she just busts out and say that he gave her consent to be with that, somebody else. That's mind-boggling right there. Sounds good. Well, let's, let me give you a, a tour of the... Uh, mind-boggling. I was actually about to say that. Like, I, I am, like, so blown away. I just feel like I want this house. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> well, maybe you could take it. Maybe you could take it, uh, see where me and you goes, and maybe you can... Uh, maybe this can be the weekend house or something like that. This is one of the uh, units that don't get booked too often. Mm. It's actually the first one in the last few weeks, so. Sweet. Yeah. And hey, let me get your tour. Yeah, let's go. Let me show you around the corner here. Um, and then we can go upstairs. Go upstairs? Why are you bringing her upstairs? You know, so there's a room. You know not to come in here, right? I tell people all the time, never freestyle when conducting these loyalty tests because now Mac forgot that we was upstairs in the room and they're literally standing right outside the door. Don't open it. Uh, you don't need to know what's behind that door. Yeah. She asked about the door. Oh, I know they not about to come in this room, bro. What the fuck is this shit? Damn, yo, you're yo. scandalous as fuck, bro. How am I scandalous? This this whole thing of. Boom! Why the hell, bro? Why, like? You're setting a loyalty test up. Like how in the world you just flat out just forget about that you that room was where they were set up at like this dude boy not unless he was I don't know man yep I mean they, he gotten all the information you need to know from him or from the you know from the female. But it's just the whole fact that he was just saying he don't like nobody freestyling. And he freestyled the shit out that mud. I mean, he got what he wanted to know out of, out of her. She already done blew her spot up. 
So I'm guessing it's a win-win, I guess. You know? It's sort of like a win. But let's keep going. Set up. Hold it, bro. All right, let's set up. Hold time. Um, Don reached out to me because he wanted to put you on a loyalty test because he felt like you was just being disloyal to him. For I'm a lot of reasons. Disloyal to you? This, this is what this is right now. What the f are you talking about this whole time? Wait a minute. You are telling me right now that you set something like this up and then put me on the pedestal for my career too? What the f do you think? Yes. Why? You're not trustworthy, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I am, no. What do you mean? How am I not trustworthy? I watched this sh the whole f time. So you f Jace. I did because you consented it on the phone. What oh my god. Like, you really? You are you just said slow? No, I'm not fing slow. Are you fing slow? You f my friend. Whatever. You deceitful, bro. We I told you. We, we literally heard everything from up here. If you can see, we like watching everything that y'all doing. So we heard You're you. Deceitful, bro. We heard you confess and say that. You're dirty as fuck. Man. He's just a decoy. He does not own his house. Everything was set up. You're dirty as fuck. You feel no, dirty as fuck, don't you? I believe that you would even do this. You feel dirty and stupid, don't you? No, I don't feel dirty and stupid. I just can't believe. That's some like, dirty no, and stupid shit to say no, right there. Because you have like this whole fucking crew set up. You're just like putting on a show yourself right now. And you this whole it. time no, you've been acting this whole time. This You're scandalous, man. And then like, why are the cameras still rolling? You set this fake ass photographer up, and then like these dudes all in the background to get me with a fucking mic that's like picking up on me. What type of shit is You don't this? feel stupid though. You fucking no, fail, bro. I don't care. This is so dumb. I cannot believe that you. Would You're dirty. You're. Where you going? You dirty as fuck, man. Why? Why do you want to talk? Why do you want to talk anymore? You just fucking people, huh? So. You do it too. What you about, like, it's no, trash, what about, man. No, You're trash as fuck, man. No, what about You're trash as fuck, man. When we were away for two weeks, you went with that girl. What and you told about? me that you caught feelings, but you weren't pursuing a relationship, and that's what you're doing to me now. Like, really? And all these motherfuckers are like following me? So you did this too? So what the fuck are you talking about? She's a fucking liar, man. No. You're a fucking liar, you dirty as fuck, man. Oh, man. Going. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he ain't. He ain't sick. Jace again. Yeah. Fucking Jace again. Who else you fucking? Jace again? Yeah, fucking Jace again? Oh, you fucking in the door. Just Jace. But you can. You stupid ass. You dropping your phone and shit. Oh, I'm stupid because You're I stupid. Go 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 go. You stupid. Got got to go 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 go. Nah. You're dirty, man. And I'm glad I did this shit though. I'm glad I did. Get the go. Whatever. Get the go. Trash ass. No, you're trash. Go Jace again, huh? Right? Can I ask you a question, bro? Who is Jace? My friend. Did you tell her she could? Your homie? Why the f would I tell her to fuck my homie? He doesn't even know because he was so drunk. Hey, hey, hey. No, he was so drunk. He For didn't one? even care. For one? He didn't even care. That's what my I was G, saying. I, I, it is, this shit ain't sound right. I was just, you feel me? It's a fucking liar. You see, she, she just fell this shit right here, yeah. right? But can't, sure. can't believe shit she say. Sure. I did. For sure. I did. She fucking scandalous. She fucking my best friend. This fool didn't even tell me this shit. I found out just right now. Whatever. Just right now. Too bad I deleted the text, but it's okay. You can get away with this. It's all you guys do. It's just you get trash, away. dog. No, you trash, man. Get, get the out of here, man. You deleted. Come on, you delete the text. You ain't delete yeah, no yeah, damn text. Here, man. No, I don't need to. What career? The career? What career? That you were supposed to support me in? I'm support. I'm gonna support you for. I've been through this shit. I ain't even into that shit, bro. I've been through this shit. That okay. shit crazy. Why the fuck do I support so, like, you? Why would you like set all this up? Like, for, like... To catch a dumbass. Dumb yeah, you dumb. No. There we go. Who no, friends, man? Yeah, don't... Scandalous as fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Keep walking. <laughs> Trash as fuck, bro. Hey, make sure you close that gate, gate. My bad, bro. Are you hey, good, hey, bro? I, I appreciate that, bro. Show. Like, she... I already knew this shit, bro. How, how close are you and Jace? I think obviously I thought he was my best friend, but obviously I gotta talk to his ass too, cause I ain't know this shit. Crazy. I ain't know this shit. So I gotta contact his ass too. What I'm not like that shit is going on. Like she said, yeah, some bro. LA shit. Some LA shit, bro. Like I just went with it. Yeah. I, it was, she threw me the fuck. She fucked nah, my head. Bro. That shit threw oh, me for you just everybody scandalous, bro. Appreciate that, that, that shit bro. threw me for oh, oh, everybody. I know that threw me off too. Man. Shit. So, she feel um, dumb as fuck right now. And she knew and she she knew about this whole shit, like the past and shit. I told her everything, you know what I mean? And she at least you know not 
Nah, even knowing still hurt you, dig? But yeah, it's like, for sure, for sure. hey, make sure she call Uber, bro. She can't just be sitting there. Nah, let her ass walk, bro. I did a lot for that fucking girl, bro. Like a lot. Like, travel, I'm driving her everywhere, all all distance and shit. Bring her around my people and shit. You know what I mean? We on each other pages and shit. She fucked my best friend. I didn't even know that shit. That's crazy as fuck. Just got Damn, her a man. fucking phone. Like the phone she got, I bought that fucking phone like not even a month ago. On my line of shit. And it's, just, it's just the fact that I just found I just found shit out today. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. That shit crazy, yo. Yeah, that's fucked up. I fucked up. I didn't get my shit back, bro. Fuck this. Oh low. He actually gonna go and get that phone back. Where's she at? She gone? No, she right there. I need my shit back. I need my shit back. That motherfucking phone need my shit back. No. Fuck you mean no, I need my shit back. Nah. No. Like, just let me. Get my shit back. Why do you need the shit? You know? Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> Give me my phone. Stop playing with me. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. I'm waiting for my Uber and it has Yo, to I'm asking sale. you respectfully, bro. No, you're not being respectful. Respectfully, yeah. get my shit back. You're being overly dramatic. <laughs> She's so fing disgusting. You better let man. it go, man. Let it go. Chalk that up as a loss. Like chalk that up as a loss. Let it go. Exactly, just let it go, man. Let it go. Get my shit back. No, I'll send it to you. Freaking certified mail. It's all good, bro. Let it go. Just let it go, man. Bro, she done already told him that she don't want nothing to do with him. You know what I'm saying? He's study bug and study bug, and that's why I told him, man, just go on about your business, bro. This motherfucker tested my patience, man. It's all good. Tested my fucking patience, bro. So the cat was already out the bag, and at this point, Dom was really making himself more upset by taking his phone back and trying to get his thing. So it actually was a good idea that Gabe already just told him, just leave it alone and let's go back inside, because... I can see that really going left quick. I'm off on that. I'm calling nigga Jason. But if you guys enjoyed this loyalty test, man, comment down in the comments below where we should travel next. And until next time, jack off. Exactly. Not literally, but exactly. But yeah, man. That, that, ooh, she is so freaking scandalous. How the hell is she just going to come off and just tell homie that he consented and everything? That That's, that's mind boggling, yo. For real, for real. Like, that's real crazy. That's like some, why would, and that's crazy. She trying to sit up here pin, she tried to pin it on him being drunk. But at the same time, she saying that the text was deleted. Like, that that didn't make any sense from the jump anyway. So, I don't know what more she was on on that. Like, that shit was crazy. Like, how are you going to sit up there and tell somebody, yeah, you consented to sleep with that's dumb like why would you want to sit up there and consent me consent to her to sleep with my best friend like that, fuck out of here yeah <laughs> that one thing i gotta say fuck out of here man